And yesterday was water, today is windows. I'm really happy with the outcome. Hello everyone and welcome. We are Sabine and Marco and we decided we wanted more freedom, more independence and to quit our 9 to 5 life. And now we are building our own tiny house on wheels. We're gonna live in it, full time. We bought a six seater Mercedes Benz Atego with twist locks and we got a 20 feet shipping container and together this will be ugly, our expedition truck. Slash tiny hotel on wheels. It's a new day today, and I'm uh, planning to install the water tanks. I've got two massive water tanks. This one is for fresh water, 650 liters. I've got a small one that is 350 liters for wastewater. Yeah, and I want to place them under the bed, so yeah, they are more or less hidden. Um, but there lies also the, um, my worry, my issues. There's two worries. One is, uh, will it leak? Uh, I have these big connections. And the second worry is that this is a tank of 650 liters. You cannot leave it loose, so you need to fix it really tight uh, to the container somewhere. So, what I'm learning directly, um, I need to keep it off the wall. Can you see that? Because this is my closed position. And this is sticking out. Let's see if I can turn it just a little bit. Yes. That should be fine, yes. Looks good.
It just fits. But I'm really happy with the outcome. I think I fixed it uh, strongly and I also um, uh, still have it accessible. So yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, let's continue with the next uh, thing. You might have been thinking the same. There's still a massive gap here to bridge. Um, so I need to find a solution for that. Um, and I've been thinking how to do that because I also that one of the issues that we have here is that there is still the outside steel is still visible here. So this is a potential coal bridge. Um, so that's going to be uh, the task of today. Uh, yesterday was water, today is windows. Um, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, eh? but I don't think you are want, you want to see every detail and everything that I'm doing. So um, yeah, I'm trying to do a little bit of, uh, of things that I think are interesting. Um, yeah. but if you think otherwise and you want to see everything, please let me know in the comments. And also when you think I'm right, eh, when you think I'm doing the right thing, not showing you every little detail, uh, I would also like to know. So uh, yeah, thanks for giving your uh, reactions and your opinions. Okay, well, let's continue. So, you don't have any idea how happy I am that there are now, there is like progress on those windows. Because um, this has been in my mind for so long and I've been thinking, how can I solve it? And I think I now have the, the puzzle solved. So, and I like solving puzzles. So, uh, yeah, uh, really happy about this. Um, it's not much progress for one day, but it feels massive. So, uh, see you tomorrow. Bye bye.
gave me some headache, but um, yeah, now I'm uh, I'm really happy with this solution. And it's also um, starting to feel not as much as a building site, but uh, yeah, more of a house. Strange, yeah, how that happens, or how that works in your head. So uh, yeah, let's continue. It's gonna be a nice day today. We are finishing things. So the solution basically was that we filled the gap or the distance between the door and the window profiles and the wood paneling that we already made. We filled this gap with uh, pur foam that's behind it as well, then a wooden frame and the wooden frame is connected all around and this wooden frame is glued to the uh, door structures and the window structures well, and this does two things for me one it gives uh, solid strength to the um, uh, frame of the windows and the doors because it needed that and the second thing is that it filled the gaps without creating a cold bridge so I think this is the right solution. I'm really happy about it. And then we finished everything off uh, with this window framing, or yeah, I don't know how you call it in English. I'm really happy with it because it looks nice already. Uh, so we need to paint it and we, it needs to be, uh, but yeah, I'm very pleased, very pleased with it. And on top of that, we will place the window covering. So the all-in-one uh, curtains and mosquito net. So yeah. Um, it looks uh, it looks good. <laughs>